facts I'm not gonna lie I'm bored rigid with Amberlin. Can you maybe think about doing some reacts to Tammy Lemon? Still do ALR obviously, but Tammy will be a nice contrast. Hey girls, meet Tammy Lemon. She's been struggling with an ED for a while and is hoping to recover. She's been trying to lose weight since September 2020, with her highest weight being 440 pounds, or 199.5 kilograms. We are starting this journey in April 2021, and at this time she has lost almost 100 pounds since she reached her highest weight of 440. So I just woke up and mm, I just weighed in. So first I'm going to make some breakfast and after that I'm going to the grocery store. So I'm from the Netherlands and in the Netherlands we have this tool for um, collecting the cheese. So here we've got some bread. I've got four slices. Normally I would eat only two of them. Yesterday I struggled with like binging thoughts. After dinner I was feeling pretty full. I constantly had thoughts in my head about eating um, sugary stuff and things like that. Normally I eat around 1800 calories. I'm not going to calorie count because I try not to do that because it can become a bit obsessive. Mm, it has been a long time. Nine months or something, easily, maybe more. So normally I don't snack in between meals. My psychologist and I have made a deal that I would try to snack one time every day just to make some time for myself. I've got some artificial sweetener and some powdered milk, and then some instant coffee. So some coffee and some grapes. I think it's important for me to heal the relationship that I have with food. Me and my psychologist just talked about having some time for yourself is also a form of self-love, so... It's Friday morning and actually I'm feeling like sh and In the evening, I those binge thoughts were returning and uh, eventually I gave in. There were exactly 20 lollipop wrappers, so I ate 20 of them. I also ate a chocolate bar, again, uh, a dark chocolate. Uh, not my favorite, but that's what I had in my cupboards. And I just uh, counted the calories I had yesterday, so around 2,500. I'm going to try not to restrict too much. My goal is to eat three times today and then just small portions, but more than what I ate last time because it's so disruptive for your body to just eat a banana and some carrots or a slice of bread or something. I don't feel the best, I feel bloated. You can see that just this is hanging over my pen, so. But every time that I had a binge, I didn't have energy or I wasn't mentally able to go to the store to buy delicious things, so I ended up binging on things that I don't usually use for binging. So in my previous videos, I binged on chocolate, dark chocolate, and I don't buy very delicious foods that are triggering to me because when I have a binge, I will eat everything that is in my house. So I just don't buy it. And I'm very lucky that I'm living alone. So I don't have other people to care for or other people bringing in food or something. So that's a very, I'm very lucky that way. When you feel like binging, you binge. For me, for me, that is. Um, it doesn't matter what there is in the house. You just binge on whatever you can find. I just made a list with delicious things like Kit Kats and chocolate and um, Pringles. All that kind of yumminess that I haven't had for three months. I have a binge around every two weeks now. I used to binge like three, four times a week, sometimes maybe even multiple times a day. So I want to plan a binge. I just eat until I physically almost can't move. I don't like calling it a binge. Let's call it like overeating. I want to plan an overeating episode so that I I'm fully aware of what I'm doing. I do want this so bad and I've been longing for this for weeks and so I can just settle with that thought that I am having all those delicious snacks and things and just see how it goes. If, if I slip into a binge mode or maybe I feel full after, I don't know. I just want to experiment with it. I Someone in her comment section asked, is it really working for you? Or is it just setting you up to overeat and have a binge? Tammy replied with, in hindsight, I now see that I was already slipping back from almost never binging to this huge relapse that I'm in right now. She goes on to explain that she thought she could control her binges if she were to plan them out, but she sees now that it actually has caused her to overeat and binge even more. I will say so far I am loving her transparency and honesty with her audience. It's really refreshing. 
Over the next three days, I ended up restricting, as you can see right here. This behavior is very disordered. I am fully aware of that, but right now it helps me, so that's why I am doing this. And this helps me mentally to sort of feel better and have the feeling that I can undo what I did. Um, for me, this is how it works right now, and I want to document it for you guys. That's why I'm sharing what I did to, in my head, fix it. I have got 4,300 steps in. I used to weigh in multiple times a day. Then I noticed how toxic it became because my whole mood could be determined by the numbers on the scale. Right now I'm trying to weigh in every other day. So today I weighed in and I almost was two pounds heavier than two days ago. Here you can see what I look like. Uh, yesterday I also ate 1200 calories in snacks. Yeah, I'm still burning that off. Yesterday in the evening, pretty late in the evening, someone came over and that person brought food. I didn't ask that person to come. The person asked me if they could come and I was like, no, that's not gonna happen. They showed up anyway and they brought food. So the, the thoughts are constantly in my head, like in the cupboards, like there, you, you tucked it away, but right there, like in the, in the back of the cupboard, there are like these candies and, and cakes and you can eat them and it's okay. And you can just restrict afterwards, it's all okay. And you're gonna feel fine. And if you don't eat tonight's dinner, then you can have some calories. So, Hey guys, so I just wanted to give you an update. I am feeling like utter shit right now. I have binged yesterday. It was a huge binge, like 12,000 calories, give or take. I didn't put up too much of a fight and I just went to the store and bought everything that I wanted. I feel terrible, like physically, but also mentally, I'm just drained. I just spent my day in bed all day. I didn't want to eat. I just slept as much as I could. That Monday that I did my mukbang, it ended up being 22,000 and then Wednesday I binged and then uh, Friday I binged and then Saturday, Sunday, Monday, yesterday, and now it's Wednesday. I did binge a lot. By the way, it's raining and I'm getting wet right here. That's what she said. <laughs> I have eaten so many pints of Ben & Jerry's. I even have this thing on my hand because of eating it. I will show you a picture right here. So I ended up eating 28 lollipops, one chocolate bar, like dark chocolate. I do like lollipops, but like 28, that's just, my teeth hurt, my um, the flesh in my mouth hurts. It's just stupid. And then I also made some chocolate milk, like some hot chocolate milk. I binged on whatever I could find. I feel bad about it. I woke up and was like, Ugh, I don't want to do this day. But right now I am learning that I have to listen to my body and I do not like that because I think that's very hard. So at this point Tammy has started to binge again almost every day. She admits she binges and then restricts her eating to almost counteract the calories she took in, which in turn causes her to binge even more. It's a cycle that weighs on her mind very heavily and causes her panic attacks. She admits to sometimes eating until she falls asleep and waking up to hyperventilating and vomiting. It's 5 p.m. right now, or well, it has been for like six, six? For like six minutes. Today is a new day of trying to break the circle of me eating junk. I still haven't broken through the binge eating relapse circle. Like yes, some days I do better, but overall I'm still like binging almost every day. Every day I'm doing a little bit better in regards of eating, even with depression. All the help that I get, like I see four different kinds of help. Um, they really, really do help. And by the way, look at my double chin. I feel that I have gained. I see it in my face and I feel it in like uh, the pants size I'm wearing. I'm wearing a bigger size of pants. I don't like that, but um, yeah, I, I also am aware that it is like something I have to accept. I'm trying to lose weight, but I'm also struggling with an eating disorder. I used to think that I had to be perfect, that I had to lose weight like one beautiful downwards going line. Right now I am trying to like accept that that line is not going to be like this, but that that line is going to be this, but in the end that it will go downwards uh, when I just keep up and keep trying. And right now I'm relapsing big time. I did gain weight, but I will lose it again. That's something I just have to believe because if I don't, I really don't know what to do. Because
because that's like my only point of hope right now. Yesterday I had a good day. I ate everything according to my eating plan. That was the first day that I stuck to it. I think for the first time since like September 24th, since this whole big relapse started. I did weigh in. I weighed like 156 kilos. That's like, I gained like 40 pounds or something. Like, is that even humanly possible in two and a half months? I surpassed 150. Yay. And yes, that's sarcasm. So I haven't been uploading for quite some time. I have been struggling. And these past few months I hit rock bottom. At this moment I am doing better. My weight has stabilized, so that's good. I did gain like a ton and that's very hard for me to accept not so much about the weight but because i have a lot of trouble with doing things like today it's pretty hot and i'm like sweating and having my fan on all day things that should be easy or that were easy for me in the past like a few months back are really really hard right now the last time i weighed in i weighed 160 kilos uh, last time I weighed in was like three or four weeks ago and I am at my highest weight again that I ever have. I don't want to lose that weight again and be at the same point that I am right now in, in two more years. I don't want to lose weight. I want to really fix my eating disorder. Oh, I'm out of breath. Oh my god. I'm out of breath. Like, seriously. No, no, no. That's negative self-talk. You're out of breath. Just deal with it. It's just the way it is. Okay, accept it. Uh, oh my god. Uh, my highest weight, I reached my highest weight in the later half of July to 205 kilos. Like I've told you before, I wasn't able to just properly wipe myself. I'm still not able to completely properly wipe myself, but it is getting a lot easier. And I just took a shower just now and I, and I noticed that it was getting um, much easier. So yeah, but like I said, 15.2 pounds is only the beginning. So I am going to continue the road that I'm on. So I start eating eating and I keep eating, eating, eating until I'm so full that I cannot eat or until I ran out of food. For me personally, most binges are caused by something that really stresses me out. And where most people would have a healthy coping mechanism to deal with that stress, I lack that healthy coping mechanism. From a very early age, I started to condition myself to like food equals comfort, food equals self-soothing, food equals happiness. And this behavior is what causes me to have a binge eating disorder. I did lose a little bit of weight. I'm very happy with it. But at the same time, like I like to practice as I preach. I can talk all day if I want to, but I guess we'll just have to see how I progress if I continue to lose weight and how my food intake and how everything changes over time. So yeah. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you later, Lepa.